Most people know you can animate in Canva. There are animated elements. They move on their own. Then there are page animations. Here, you can control individual objects or affect a whole page. People often forget about page transitions. This is where you can animate between slides. Match and move is a favorite. But did you know there is a new animation in town, a tool for creating your own custom animations and it's easy as drawing a path. Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Matt, a product manager in Canva's video and motion team. As you may have guessed, I'm really into animation. If I'm not making it, I'm watching it. Disney, Pixar, Studio Ghibli, Leica, Aardman, I'll take it all. That's why I'm so excited to work on Canva's animation products. In this video, I'll show you when to use animations, how to create, edit, and export them from your desktop or your mobile device. So say goodbye to complex animation software and let's learn how to save time, stand out, and animate with ease. But first, while I've got your attention, have you subscribed to Canva's channel? Our tips from the team playlist is packed with expert guides and how-to videos. Make a habit of watching these and it won't be long before you're a Canva whiz. I wanted to show you this video. It's a great one where Jenny goes into a lot of the animation techniques that I already mentioned. It's the perfect video to watch after this one. Okay, you might be wondering what sort of things you can animate and when it might feel right to use animation. Well, for me, animation combines the joy of play with design and storytelling. They are perfect for battling static slide fatigue. It's a thing, trust me. Animations make slides interactive, helping content stand out and communicate information in surprising and interesting ways. According to Forbes, people spend nearly seven hours every day consuming content, scrolling phones, watching TV and other digital media. That's a lot of digital content. Animated content quite literally pops off the screen, grabbing attention, helping your content stand out amongst all of the noise. So how do we do it? Well, it can be summed up in four simple steps. First, we select an element. Then we go to the animate panel and next we draw a path. Lastly, we can customize the animation. Sounds easy, doesn't it? And it is. Are you ready to get moving? Let me show you on my laptop first. We'll start with a new document. I'm gonna create a social media post for World B Day. Animations can be created in most digital doc types like social media videos and presentation decks. Now we'll search for a B to animate. One handy tip is to choose elements that already have a slight animation to them. Just keep in mind, if too many things are moving in your design, you might overdo it. Here, this little guy looks fun. We'll go to the animation button to open up the animation panel. Here, we can select create an animation. Begin to draw a path with your cursor. This will be the path your element follows when it animates. When you draw your path, if you speed up or slow down, that's recorded too. Cool, huh? Now our final step, customizing our animation. There are a few things we can do to make our B animation feel a bit more realistic. Here, we can layer on more animation with a motion effect. Let's use wiggle. This adds a slight natural movement to the B. How sweet is that? And last, we can adjust the speed. There, that feels pretty B-like to me. But what if I didn't draw my path quite right? Easy, we can just edit it. Select the element. Click here and adjust your edits or delete the path and start again. And if you'd like more than one element to animate on a path, you can simply copy the element and keep the same path or draw a new one like this. Isn't animation just the bee's knees? Now, in my opinion, animations work best with layered, subtle movements. Disney first experimented with this thinking called the multiplane camera, and it changed animation forever. In short, instead of drawing cartoons on one plane, 
it introduced multiple transparent planes or layers, allowing elements to be animated in different ways. This created depth and made animations more realistic. So time to build some layers and add some depth. Let's add a background and a foreground. Let's add some clouds. If we group them, we can place them to the side of the canvas like this. Now, let's animate them. This time, I'll hold down shift when I draw my path. This will draw my path in a straight line. Time to customize. We can adjust the animation movement here by selecting smooth or steady. For the clouds, let's choose steady and they will move, like the name suggests, at a steady pace. Now, our background is done. Let's work on the foreground. Let's start with some flowers. Once everything is in place, let's animate. We'll keep the movement style as steady and adjust the speed so it's like a subtle breeze. And we're done. Let's play our animation back like this. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The final step is to export and download our video like this. We can also share directly to socials or messengers from the share button right here. In film language, you could say, it's in the can. Creating an animation from your mobile is similar, as in, incredibly simple. Let me show you. Here's a presentation I've been working on. This slide shows data. At the moment, it's a bit static, and I want to really emphasize growth here. I think this calls for some animation. I'm going to exaggerate this growth with a graphic. First, I'll search and find the right one and add it to my design. Then we can add animation like this. I'll draw our path up, up, up. Look at that growth and customize. Here I'll add a steady movement. I promise I'll show you smooth as well. This is perfect for elements you wanna move at a constant speed. And by checking orient to path, our element rotates and moves to follow the path's angles like this. Animation is perfect for making pitch decks pop or take off in this case. I think we have time for one last cool effect. But before that, let me know what questions you have. Put them in the comments down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, this next one is a way to create more abstract motion graphics. Perfect for adding some character to your brand or title cards in a video. Here I have colored circles layered on top of one another. If I select them all, I can animate them together. It will apply the path I draw to all elements selected. I'll add a smooth movement here and it's as simple as that. We keep discovering new and interesting ways to use this tool. Actually, if you come up with something, feel free to share it in the comments. We'd love to see. So whether it's from your desktop or mobile, creating an animation and adding it to designs is quick and easy. Not to mention a whole lot of fun. Ooh, my popcorn's ready. Did you find this video helpful? If so, check out the playlist full of top tips so you can master Canva. Here are some of my faves. We release new videos like this every week, so get moving and like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Now it's time to storytell in Canva. Happy animating.